These are the ruins of the Brazen Palace of Lower Mahapaya. It was a dwelling for the Buddhist monks. It was built by King Dutugamunu over 2,200 years ago. It was a 10-story building with over 1,000 rooms, but today only the 1,600 stone columns of the ground floor remain. It was called the Brazen Palace since the roof was covered with copper plates. This is Jetavana Rame. It is the largest stupa in Sri Lanka with a 367 foot base on each side. It is 400 feet in height and its perimeter encloses eight acres. It is the second largest monument in the world, second only to the pyramids of Egypt. This was built in the third century AD. This is the Samadhi Buddha statue. It shows the Buddha in a state of Samadhi or deep meditation, portraying metta or his boundless compassion. It is considered a unique piece of sculpture in the world, renowned for his artistic refinement. This huge granite statue of the Buddha at Aukana, carved out of solid rock in the standing position on a lotus pedestal, was built during the reign of King Datusena in the 5th century AD. It stands 472 feet tall and remains undamaged up to this day. The flawless unbroken pleats of the robe, the perfectly erect posture and the indentation at the waist bear testimony to the skills, skills of the sculptor who executed this masterpiece of rock carving. It is said that when it rains, water dripping from the tip of the nose falls right between the two feet. This is Kutam Pokuna or the Twin Ponds. They are two impressive pools used by the ancient monks for bathing nearly 2,000 years ago. The inner walls of the pool were paved with dressed stone. An underground channel supplied water from a tank. This is Isurumunya Rock Temple. Dating back from the 3rd century BC, Isurumunya has been well known for its rock carvings. From time to time, craftsmen added various sculptures here. The Isurumunya Lovers is a famous sculpture carved in the 6th century AD. Our next stop is Dambulla, which is also a World Heritage Site. 
dating back to the 1st century BC, this is the most impressive cave temple in Sri Lanka. It has five caves, caves under a vast overhanging rock carved with a drip line to keep the interiors dry. Inside the caves, the ceilings are painted with intricate patterns of religious images following the contours of the rock. There are images of Lord Buddha and the Bodhisattvas. This is Sigiriya, the rock citadel, which is also a world heritage site. Sigiriya was created by King Kasyapa, who reigned in the 5th century from the year 477 to 495 AD. The summit of this almost inaccessible rock is 600 feet above the surrounding area and was the setting for a courtly paradise of elegant pavilions amid gardens and pools. It is often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. The name Sigri means the lion rock. The rock was transformed into a recumbent lion by the addition of a head and four legs of which only the paws remain now. The terrace gardens slope down to the boulder gardens and then to the geometrically laid out water gardens with running water and fountains, pools and ponds, aquatic flowers and birds, and tropical trees. The entire water garden is in a walled enclosure. These fountains are fed by water under gravitational pressure from the artificial Sigiriya lake. Symmetrically perforated limestone plates fashion their sprouts. These fountains operate even today, bearing testimony to an outstanding technology which is 1,500 years old. These are the world-famous Sigiriya frescoes dating back to the 5th century AD. Mm -hmm. 